Today I will tell you how to convert a hexadecimal number to Delphi number. For this purpose, uh, look at example 1 given on page number 10 of your books. In this example, you are told that all hexadecimal numbers comprise of powers of 16. The power of any number at the rightmost side is 0 and it increases when going towards the left. The power of 16 at the rightmost place is 0, which means 16 raised to power 0 is 1. The power of 16 then becomes 16 raised to power 1, which is equivalent to 16. The power of 16 then becomes 16 raised to power 2, which means 16 multiplied by 16, which is equal to 256. Then in the first row, we will write this denry weight, these denry weightages in the first row and then we will write the digit that is given to us 45a in the second row. Then um, now we will multiply every number with its denry weightage. Uh, the, this is the first number a which is equivalent to 10 in denry numbers. We will multiply 10 multiply and we will multiply 10 into um, multi 10 with 1. Then we will multiply 16 with 5. Then we will multiply 256 with 4. Uh, then after adding up all the values, we will get the Denry equivalent of this hexadecimal number 45A. In example 2, the number is C8F. F is equal to 15 in Denry numbers, number system. Now we will write in the first row, we will write the Denry weightages of uh, the, uh, the hexadecimal numbers. 16 raised to power 0 is 1. 16 raised to power 1 is 16. 16 raised to power 2 is 256. Now we will multiply every digit, digit with its Denry weightage. We will multiply 15 with 1. Then we will, will multiply 8 with 16. And then we will multiply 256 with C. Now I will do part J of activity 1.5. Uh, for this purpose, you need to understand uh, these two columns. The first column shows the Denry values and the second column shows the hex values. Uh, the Denry value, um, the first column shows that all Denry values start from 1 and they end at 15. But the hexadecimal equivalent of any number are now. Uh, uh, you can see that the hexadecimal equivalent of 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, 13 is D, and 14 is E, and 15 is F. The number that is given to you is 4D89. Uh, in the first row, you will write the powers of 16, which start from 16 used to power 0 at the rightmost side. In the second row, we, we have solved the power 16 raised to power 0 is 1, 16 raised to power 1 is 16, 16 multiplied two, 2 times is 256, 16 multiplied 3 times is 4096. Then in the third row, we will write the number that will be that is given to us, 889. Now we are going to multiply nine, this 9 with 1. Uh, you can see it over here, 9 into 1. Then we will multiply this 16 with 8. You can see it over here. Then we will multiply this 256 into D. But D is equivalent to 13 in the hexad, um, uh, in the bind, in the Denry number system. And uh, we have multiplied this 256 into um, 13 it means. And then uh, it means that we have multiplied 256 into 13. And then we will in the end we will multiply 4096 into then you can see it over here. Now we will resolve and multiply all the values 4096 into 10 is 40960. Then we will multiply and, uh, and write the answers and add. we will add up all these values to get the Denry equivalent of this hexadecimal number which will be, have the base 10. Now the, it, it will have a base 10. The original number had a power in base of 16. So this is how to convert a hexadecimal number into a Denry number. Thank you.